What's going on guys? Today we are going to be making some chicken thighs in the air fryer and we're going to come up with a special Asian glaze for these. So we make chicken thighs in the air fryer all the time. Usually I just put salt on the skin, air fry them for like 15-20 minutes, they come out perfectly. Today though we're going to step it up a notch. You're cooking for the family, you want to impress them. We're going to make a little bit of an Asian marinade and we're going to use you know all the basic Asian marinade things. The one thing that I like to do when I'm doing Asian stuff a little drop of stevia, a couple drops. Usually that's what's really good about Asian food. You got like the spicy sweet balance going on. Also gonna use some vinegar, some coconut aminos. Now this is kind of a soy sauce replacement. It's made from coconut sap. So there is a little bit of sugar in this, but there is no soy. So that's kind of like the pros and cons. And it has really good flavor. This is some sriracha. Sriracha is also another thing that has a little bit of sugar in it. Throughout making this whole marinade, the carbs will add up a little bit, but the flavor makes up for that. Let's get started. First off, you need definitely some fresh ingredients. So I like doing garlic, some ginger, just a couple, couple garlic cloves. You can also use the pre-minced garlic, but when you use the pre-minced, Especially in a marinade, you don't get anywhere near as much flavor. So I'm just gonna like kind of dice these thinly. I like getting as much surface area as possible for the garlic to get into the marinade. And then we also have some ginger here. This is gonna add a lot of good flavor. And we're just gonna make the marinade right in this bowl here. So I just like grating the ginger with one of these graters. I don't even peel it. Especially with a marinade, it's kind of unnecessary. And you can do anywhere from one to two teaspoons worth of ginger. So to form our marinade, we're gonna do two tablespoons of coconut aminos. And if you've never heard of these before, you can usually find them right by the soy sauce or sometimes in like the healthy section in the grocery store. And then depending on how spicy you want it, one to two teaspoons, you can even go up to a tablespoon of sriracha. I'm gonna do probably like two teaspoons here. Sriracha is pretty spicy. Then you need a little tang. So you can do like some lime juice or something like that, but I like using vinegar. This is rice vinegar, about two teaspoons. Eight to 10 drops of stevia, optional, but I would highly encourage it if you like the nice sweet heat Asian flavor. And then lastly, we're just gonna add the garlic in there. And now here's the fancy trick you can do. You can make a double batch of the marinade. You can use half of it to marinate the chicken thighs and you can save half of it. You can reduce that on the stovetop in a saucepan and then pour that over top as a glaze. We're not gonna do that because we like to make our recipe simple so that you guys are encouraged to make them at home. When it gets too complicated, no one likes to do it. We are just going to marinade and then air fry. So stir this up a little bit. And then here we have four chicken thighs, bone in, skin on. That's what I like to go with. You can do boneless though. Sometimes those are on sale. Really anything will do. You can even do chicken breasts. I just love the skin because it gets crispy in the air fryer. That's my favorite. So we're just gonna put these in a Ziploc bag and then pour in the marinade. Marinade smells great. And you notice we didn't add any salt. A lot of these sauces are already pretty salty. Just shake that around, make sure everything's covered. And then we're gonna set this in the fridge for two hours and we'll be back to air fry these. Okay guys, we're back. It's been two hours and we're gonna pop these in the air fryer. You can see they're getting some nice color to them. The marinade's definitely setting in. Now, if you want these to be super crispy, you could pat these dry, but I like leaving them with the marinade on and it'll kind of reduce down into being more flavored but maybe not as crispy. We got the air fryer going at 400 degrees. We're gonna bake this for 14 minutes. We're gonna flip it once. And I like to preheat it for a minute or two. Set these in there. We have a pretty big air fryer, so this should be able to accommodate all four thighs. You wanna make sure they're not really touching though, or else they won't get as crispy. Perfect. Okay, we will be back when they're done for a taste test. Okay guys, we're back and during this finale, you're gonna be hearing Theo. He's very loud right now. So uh, look at these though, the glaze, perfect. You get that golden. Some of you might think, is it a little burned? Was that your first reaction? No, mine it's perfect, like, right? look nice, sweet, and spicy. So I flipped them over. Here's what I usually do when I use the air fryer. I cook them skin side up to get it crispy. Then I flip them. And then I'll flip them one more time just so they finish skin side up and get extra crispy. In all, this took 20 minutes because there was four of them. Depending on your air fryer, the cooking time's gonna vary. I can just grab one of these out and it hasn't rested for too long, so it's gonna be a little juicy. Great flavor. You get a little sweetness. You definitely get the garlic. It's not too spicy. It's a little spicy. The spice comes on late, but not too spicy. If you like things spicy, definitely add a lot more sriracha. Nice subtle sweetness. You could probably even add a little more stevia. I don't think you need any more salt. It's, it's nice and salty. Overall, I think some sesame seeds would even be good sprinkled on at the end, maybe some sesame oil. If you wanna give this recipe a try, the link to the blog post on how to make this is down in the description. 
It has the recipe, the ingredients, step-by-step -step how to make it. KetoConnect.net, that's a food blog. Give this one a try. Let me know how you like it. Thanks for watching.